Welcome to Infigyan friends. Today in this video, we are going to take up one very interesting question from algebra. Here we have to solve degree 9 equation x power 9 plus x power 8 plus x power 5 plus x power 4 plus x plus 1 equal to 0. So we are going to calculate 9 possible solutions, real or complex. So let's get started by taking x power 8 common from these two, x power 4 common from these two, 1 common from these two. We will get x power 8 is common. So in the bracket, x plus 1 will be there. x power 4 is common. In the bracket, x plus 1 will be there. 1 is common. In the bracket, x plus 1 will be there equal to 0. Now x plus 1 will be overall common. So in the bracket we will get x power 8 plus x power 4 plus 1 equal to 0. Now we will be using product 0 rule. We can write either x plus 1 equal to 0 or x power 8 plus x power 4 plus 1 equal to 0. So we have to solve these two equations. From first equation, we are going to get one solution only. And from our second equation, we are going to get eight solutions. So let's begin with first equation, x plus 1 equal to 0. Now I will subtract 1 from both the sides. Plus and minus 1 will be over. We are going to get our first solution, which is real, x1 equal to minus 1. Now we have to solve degree 8 equation. I will write here x power 8 plus x power 4 plus 1 equal to 0. I will use method of factorization. So I can split our middle term. 2x power 4 minus x power 4 plus 1 equal to 0. Now we will pick x power 8, 2x power 4 plus 1 in this bracket and then there would be minus x power 4 equal to 0. Now from these three terms, I can write one perfect square of x power 4 plus 1. Then we have x power 4 which we can write x square whole square equal to 0. Now we can use here difference of two squares identity which says m square minus n square equal to m plus n minus n. So in the product form, we can write the difference of two squares. I will write here x power 4 plus 1 plus x square. In first bracket times x power 4 plus 1 minus x square equal to 0. Or we can write x power 4 plus x square plus 1 times x power 4 minus x square plus 1 equal to 0. Again we will factorize both the brackets. We will write x power 4 plus x square plus 1 times x power 4 minus x square plus 1 equal to 0. We have to split our middle term. We will write x power 4. Then we can write 1x square, 2x square minus x square. 2x square minus x square is x square. Then we have plus 1. In first bracket, in second bracket, we will write x power 4 minus x square. We'll be writing 2x square and then we can write minus 3x square. 2x square minus 3x square is minus x square. 
then we have plus 1 equal to 0. Now from these three terms, we can write 1 perfect square of x square plus 1. Then we have minus x square. Here also we will write x square plus 1 whole square minus 3x square. We will write square root 3x whole square so that we can apply difference of two squares formula once again. We will get x square plus 1 plus x times x square plus 1 minus x times x square plus 1 plus root 3x times x square plus 1 minus root 3x equal to 0. Again, we will be using product 0 rule and we will write 4 equations. Let me write here x square plus x plus 1 equal to 0 or x square minus x plus 1 equal to 0 or x square plus root 3x plus 1 equal to 0 or x square minus root 3x plus 1 equal to 0. So we have 4 quadratic equations. From here we are going to get 8 solutions. First solution was x equal to negative 1. Let's solve each of the quadratic equation one by one. So if I will write our first quadratic x square plus x plus 1 equal to 0. We will be using quadratic formula minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2 times a. As per our equation, I can write the value of a coefficient of x square 1, value of b coefficient of x 1, constant 1. We will get x 2 comma 3. x 1 was minus 1. Let's plug in all the values. Minus 1 plus minus square root of 1 square is 1 minus 4 times 1 times 1 will be minus 4 over 2 times 1 is 2. So I can get minus 1 plus minus square root of minus 3 over 2. Now we know that square root of minus 1 is complex number i. So we can write minus 1 plus minus i square root 3 over 2. Here we have x of 2, x of 3. Both solutions, both roots are complex valued. Now we have to solve second quadratic equation for x4 and x5. Let's write equation here first. So we will write here x square minus x plus 1 equal to 0. Here a is 1, b is negative 1, c is plus 1. We will write x4 comma 5 will be equal to minus b. So 1 plus minus square root of minus 1 square 1 minus 4 times 1 times 1 over 2 times 1 which is 2. I will get 1 plus minus i square root 3 over 2. So we have x4 and x5 ready. Both roots are complex roots. Now we will write here equation number 3 x square plus root 3x plus 1 equal to 0. So I can write x will be equal to minus b plus minus square root of root 3 square is 3 minus 4 times 1 times 1 4 over 2 times 1. We are going to get 
माइनस रूट थ्री प्लस माइनस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ माइनस वन आई सो वी विल गेट एक्स इक्वल टू माइनस रूट थ्री प्लस माइनस आई ओवर टू हेयर आई कैन राइट एक्स फोर एंड एक्स फाइव अगेन वी आर गेटिंग कॉम्प्लेक्स सोल्यूशन नाउ वी हैव टू सॉल्व फोर्थ इक्वेशन सो आई विल राइट हेयर एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस स्क्वायर रूट थ्री एक्स प्लस वन इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ वील बी कैलकुलेटिंग द लास्ट टू सोल्यूशन विल अप्लाई क्वाडेटिक फॉर्मुला वंस अगेन एंड वी विल राइट माइनस बी सो माइनस ऑफ माइनस रूट थ्री प्लस माइनस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ थ्री माइनस फोर ओवर टू वैल्यू विल कम आउट रूट थ्री प्लस माइनस आई ओवर टू हेयर आई विल बी राइटिंग एक्स ऑफ एट एक्स ऑफ नाइन अगेन वी आर गेटिंग कॉम्प्लेक्स सोल्यूशन कॉम्प्लेक्स रूट सो आउट ऑफ नाइन सोल्यूशन our first solution was the only real solution the remaining eight are complex value i hope friends you will like this video thank you so very much for watching do not forget to like share subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care bye bye